page and welcome to a Patreon exclusive for you guys. This is what action does your person want you to take towards them? I put this question to YouTube um, a few weeks ago and this one got the most um, sort of hits or the most likes, the most um, the most percentage points in the poll. So um, I wanted to take a look at what action the person you are connected to wants you to take towards them. It's a different take on the um, reading. What action will they take or what action are they going to take towards you? So let's go ahead and get into it, group one. Whoever you are connecting to, that is who I am channeling to see how their mind is working when it comes to you as far as what they want from you or more or what they want more of from you, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. What action does group one's person want them to take towards them? What action, I'm sorry, what action does your person want you to take towards them? Seven of pentacles, okay? What action does your person want you to take towards them, group one? What action does your person want you to take towards them? All right, I have the knight of pentacles, Okay, lots of pentacles so far. You could be connecting to an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or that may be your energy um, coming through. What action does your person want you to take? King of Wands. Interesting. There could be some earth signs connected to fire signs here. Leo, Virgo showing up very strongly. We also have the three of wands. Okay, more fire energy. What else do we have? What action does your person want you to take towards them? And we have the wheel, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So this is going to be interesting getting into to see why that's there. I'm going to grab some more messages for what action your person wants you to take towards them. All right. What's coming through from group one's person with the action they want their person to what action they want group one to take towards them? Group, I'm sorry, mystery. Okay, what action they want you to take. We have security. I'm going to grab one more and then we'll get some other messages. And chemistry for the action they want you to take. I have soul connection here, so hold on to that. And then I'll grab two more messages for the action they want you to take. Okay, so keeping distance. All right, what action does this person want you to take? Okay, sweet reminder. Okay, so you guys are dealing with somebody who's very confusing, okay? Because I feel like this person kind of goes back and forth. One minute, it's like they want you to sort of sit back and be pursued and be wooed by them. And then the next minute, you know, you might be dealing with somebody who goes, oh, well, you didn't call me. Um, you didn't text me. But I feel like they put out the energy that they want to take the lead, that they want to be the ones to take the action. And then when you kind of acquiesce and let allow them to do that they may take too long they may not do anything at all and then they're flipping it on you like well why didn't you say anything or why didn't you do anything so look i feel like the seven of pentacles is saying that this person does come through as wanting you to be patient with them right um at first it's not even showing up that they want you to take action or it's showing up that they don't want you to move too fast right because the knight of pentacles comes through right after this but um i also feel like your person tests you in some way where the action they want you to take is to fight for them. I think that's what comes through. They want to know that you're going to be here for the long haul. They want to know that whatever little things they throw at you, whatever little inconveniences I feel like they come up with, you'll be able to handle it and deal with it. I feel like that's this person letting you know that um, the kind of person they are, possibly the type of life that they live, um, they're only going to grant access if it feels like it's going to be a forever thing. And so 
that, you know, when you're being tested by them, it's coming through that they're seeing if you have what it takes to deal with somebody like them, somebody who feels like they take their own time and sometimes they do change their mind or sometimes they do um, want a faster pace and other times they want a slower pace. So I feel like the action your person wants you to take is to definitely be patient with them. I feel like the action they want you to take is to continue slowly, steadily building with them. Um, there's something here about you where they feel like it's going to be ongoing. So um, they want you to sort of continue investing. All right, let's clarify that for what action your person wants you to take towards them. Group one, we have the princess of wands. Okay, so your your person does want to hear from you. Um, your person does want you to send them a text. I feel like it's a text. They don't want to talk on the phone, but I feel like your person likes to be remembered every now and again, especially if you haven't spoken to them for a while. It does feel as if they just want something um, to know that you haven't forgotten them sweet reminder. All right. So the action your person could want them to take with the princess of cups is definitely some sort of message, um, sending a message symbolically or literally that they're still in your heart. They're still on your mind. Um, this person has insecurity issues. I think that's kind of the reason why they switch up sometimes. Um, I think that there's issues with them believing fully that you're really here for them. And so they test you as well to see for some of you, it'll be, is this person really here for my money? Is this person really here just because because they don't want to be alone? Is this person really here because they like me or because I do something for them? So the action your person wants you to take is to definitely remind them, send them some, some sort of acknowledgement that you remember them and that they're not easily forgotten by you. I'm going to clarify that princess of wands again. Thanks. Death. I think that's all they want, right? I think that makes a big difference for them at this time. This could be for those of you that are in no communication. So it does come through with all of these pages, all of these princesses here that they don't want, they're not expecting any sort of big action from you. Again, I see where you have a person who feels like they kind of give you the energy that they wanted to make the moves and take the action. And they want you to kind of slow your roll when it comes to taking action. And so I feel like at the very least, what they want here is something that is going to, rem is going to let them know you're still thinking of them. Let them know they still have a place in your life, a place in your heart. Um, I feel like your person wants you to give a little bit of yourself, but not too much. I think that's because they're genuinely, you know, feeling like that right now there's a sense that they're not ready. Right now there's a sense that they are still working on themselves and they're still working on the life that they want individually before they go into that union. So your person feels like they don't want you to overexert yourself. They're not expecting like unnecessary sort of attention or you overdoing it in any way. Um, they want you to go slow. They want you to take this relationship in to make sure you want it, right? Um, the Knight of Pentacles is saying they're they're thinking of you, right? They're thinking, they know that they're kind of difficult. They know that they do switch up occasionally as far as like their pacing, all right? I don't feel like they switch up with their feelings and emotions, but the action they want you to take, um, I'm going to get into this Eight of Cups. But I'm just going to say, I feel like this person wants to know that they mean something to you, that you miss them when they're away, that there's some sort of emotional connection that's not just solely based on a physical sexual relationship. And so the Knight of Pentacles is saying the action they want you to take kind of comes through as them, as you showing them that you're really here for the right reasons. Okay, let's clarify that. Um, why do we have that Knight of Pentacles for the action your person wants you to take? Group one. All right. So yeah, the 10 of cups, you really have somebody who wants like the big, like they think about the big picture. They actually really do want to be in a very close invested relationship that's going to produce, um, you know, a family, um, a real relationship. And I do feel the energy that they're seeing that with you, the action that they want you to take. They want to know that you're happy with them. They want to know that you're satisfied with them. Again, that feels like you guys are dealing with somebody who's kind of insecure and it comes through that they kind of question their, their themselves and go, why would anyone want to deal with me? Is group one sure they want to deal with me? So they want you to go slow, right? Um, I feel like this person sometimes makes you take them in small doses 
doses um, makes you go without them for a while because they feel like if you still want them after all of this, then that will say something to them. But ultimately, the action they want you to take is to be happy with them. They want you to be proud of them. Let's clarify that Ten of Cups. They want you to feel loved. And um, I don't feel like they really want you to do a lot. I'll get into what this King of Wands is saying, but a lot of the energies here, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Wands is about waiting. It's about patience. It's about building, you know, slowly waiting for what is meant to happen. What is this Ten of Cups for what action your person wants you to take? More Pentacles, Three of Pentacles here. I think your person wants you to, 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 <sighs> For some of you, they want you to say you love them. They feel like you're holding back. They feel like they can feel that you love them, but the words haven't come out or the, the actions haven't really reflected your true feelings for them. They do feel like they know you're holding back here, right? With the King of Cups. And so this is them sensing intuitively. There's a lot more to why you're here, right? You've hung in there. Um, you're very devoted and dedicated to them in a way they possibly haven't seen from anyone else. I think this person needs like some sort of reassurance verbally. Not everyone needs that, but you be, you seem to be dealing with someone who could feel like they need that. Again, that's something about the insecurities. They never believe people really like them as they are, and they just need confirmation that you do. And so I feel like your person is saying the action they want you to take is really about working with them, understanding who they are, understanding that there is a future for both of you together, um, but that they need the patience. Um, they or their requiring patience from you um, in, at this time. I do feel like this person wants fulfillment and completion, some sort of action to show that, again, you're you're happy with them, you're, you're okay with, with this relationship. Um, I think sometimes they feel like you're unsatisfied. Um, I think ultimately they know that you love them or that you're you're devoted to them, but they feel like you're there's things that you're unhappy about. The Eight of Cups, too, I'm, I'm going to get into it, but it also feels like they want you to share that unhappiness. They want you to tell them what you really want. They want you to communicate. I don't feel in a blunt way, like a direct, like a hurtful way, but they want you to communicate um, what you're truly experiencing when it comes to them. They have a problem communicating. They have a problem. I don't think they have a problem receiving. They feel like they receive information and they receive feelings pretty well. The person you're dealing with is someone who will respond to your more emotional self, not your strategic hardened self, right? The self you've developed over time to protect your heart, to protect yourself from getting hurt. I think this person, the action they want you to take is to be more comfortable expressing yourself, your real feelings for them, right? Um, they don't want any of this, you know, if they ask you how you're doing and you're like, I'm fine. They feel like something's not fine and they want you to express that. And so the three of pentacles comes through as they're still learning you. They still feel like you're learning them. And so the action they could want with the ten of cups and the, the three of pentacles is for you guys to come together and make this work as a team effort, okay? Um, they want it, they, they, they want you to show you're invested in an emotional way. Okay. You guys have possibly been invested in strategy dealing with this person and they, it feels like your connection is beyond that. And so it needs more emotional expression from you. The King of Wands. Yeah. I think this is more about revealing your passion for them. Okay. They feel that you feel something. I think they're still questioning. Hello, group two. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for becoming Patreon members. Um, I do appreciate you. I wanted to create more content and have more freedom <laughs> in the content that I created, so I appreciate you following me on this journey. Um, this is what action does your person want you to take? I asked YouTube. A few weeks ago, what um, types of readings would, you know, would interest you? And so this was the one that won in that particular poll. So I am doing the reading on what action the person you are dealing with wants you to take towards them. This is a different take on sort of what action are they going to take? What's next? What are they going to do? Um, it's it's a peek into your person sort of mindset, what they wish you would do or what they wish you would do more of. Okay, so for those interested... 
um, that is what this reading will be about. The action that your soul partner wants you to take towards them. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hangman, Ace of Cups. All right. What action does your person want you to take towards them? Group two. All right. We have King of Swords. And we also have the Page of Wands. All right. One more, please. What action does group two's person want group two to take towards them? Thank you. The Knight of Pentacles. The Chariot is here at the bottom. So your person does want you to take some sort of action here. Let's get some um, love story oracle messages. What action does your person want you to take? Group two. Security. You guys are getting similar messages to group one, which I think is interesting because it a lot of the people you're dealing with in the collective just overall could want the same things, want more from more of what's coming through from you guys. And I'll get into your message in a second. Um, spark. What action does your person want you to take? True love. Yep. Same messages. Regret. We'll get to that. All right. So what action? Thank you. <laughs> True love again. What action does your person want you to take towards them? <sighs> Turned off. So a lot of what I pick up from group one and now from you guys is you're dealing with people who want more challenge. Okay. You're dealing with people who want action from you. Um, not so you can humiliate yourself or, you know, make your, make it seem like they're all of that. And, and, and you have to come to them. I really do feel that what's coming through the truth of what you guys as soul partners want is they want that challenge, right? There's already something here for you guys. It's spark for group one. It was chemistry, but this person wants to know that it's more than that. And they feel it's kind of like in real life, right? Um, sometimes you see people go, this was the woman that stood up to me, or this was the person that put their foot down and that's who they ended up marrying. Right. And so a lot of you have someone who wants you to take a different approach. I feel like the hangman is saying, um, um, see this connection from a different perspective, all right? Um, pretend like you're losing my interest or pretend like we are not, um, you know, like we're not getting to where we need to be as a couple as fast as we can. Um, this will require you to take a different look at the relationship and see it from a different lens. And so what your person is coming through saying is that there's love here, real, true love. They want to see more of that, but they also want to see you look at this from a perspective of true love. And sometimes true love is about setting those boundaries, right? Um, I don't think they want you to look at standing up for yourself, having to defend yourself to them as they're going to be turned off. I think they feel like that's a fear you have. They're going to leave or they're going to be turned off. They're going to just go get someone else. And I feel like this person is, is, is challenging you to see them from a different perspective. Someone who doesn't just walk away because you disagree with them. Someone who's not going to just end this connection because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And you said something about it. All right. So let's see. You have Pisces here. Also Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo. Cancer is also here. Why do we have the hangman? Justice. They want you to do the right thing in this connection. The action your person wants you to take, it feels like they know that you've been not saying some things you need to say to them. You haven't been, you know, putting down some boundaries like you need to. That feels like the challenge that they need to sort of like get into action, right? Um, I feel like justice is coming through, definitely saying that your person feels like there's been some sort of unfairness and they believe you are the one to set it right. There's been some behaviors possibly that they've demonstrated that have crossed your boundaries with the Knight of Wands that have not been a reflection of their true feelings for you, um, you know, po possibly third party situations. And they feel like they don't want you to just like um, 
take it and, and, and put up with it. This person definitely feels like you are the person they feel has good judgment and you are the person it feels like they believe can, can change their perspective. Show me what I'm doing wrong, right? Tell me what I'm doing wrong. And I'll tell you guys the same way I told group one. That's not, that doesn't have to be your responsibility. But if you're dealing with someone who feels like a challenge is you telling them about themselves and writing the wrong, like in your relationship, as far as like, if they mess up, you got to like cut them off, something like that. They want to see more of that. They want you to do more of that. That feels to be a missing link in a lot of connections in the collective. There's an unwillingness from feminine energies to stand up and create boundaries. And yet there's this desire from masculine energies to see it done. So let's see why justice is showing up. Come on, Queen of Wands. It's like the action your person wants you to take, Five of Wands. Challenge me, bro. <laughs> like, fight me, you know, not physically. I don't want to like make it seem like this is like somebody who wants, look, you know, they may want a little bit of a, they, they may want a little bit of a, um, what am I thinking of? There's a term, um, but it's like one of those love affair was like really passionate and you guys just really go at it and then you get together and you kind of all this passion and, you know, sensuality. But listen, I do feel like this is tied to assertiveness. They need more of it. The action this person wants you to take for some of you, they could want you to like dress up more or get more sex. There's something they want you to do that's showing up as show me that you OK, that 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 you are the person I know you can be in this Queen of Wands energy with justice. Right. Put me in my place, you know, do what you have to do to 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 show me. All right. That you're in charge here. OK, Um, for some of you, this will probably be as, sim as simple as, you know, they want you to dominate uh, the same thing I was picking up with group one. They want you to. Uh, position yourself <laughs> as the one in charge, as the lead in some way. That feels like something that turns them on. And so the five of wands is a challenge. It's not always about competition and jealousy and um, fighting your way. But but this person is saying, um, I'm difficult. And so I want to see that you have what it takes, right? Um, in this type of relationship where I require a lot of passion, where I require assertiveness and power from my partner, can you do that, right? So the Queen of Wands is saying this person may definitely, this could be like a, a physical thing. They want you to dress up more. They find that very sexy. The action they can want you to take is to, um, you know, set or plan a date with them and then show up looking real good, right? Um, and sort of just, uh, it reminds me of Usher's song, um, Trading Places. I think, go listen to that song. That's your person. <laughs> um, I think on Patreon, we can actually play music. And so that may be something I'll look into where I just like get the lyrics of the song going so you guys can kind of hear where he's coming from. There was a reader. Oh, my gosh. I don't remember her name. It had pink in it. Um like a year or two ago when she did that, she would like play the song. Um, but I, and I might look into that, but I, I'm getting Trading Places by Usher very vividly from your person. And so that could tell the story right here of what they want, right? They want you to take control in some way. They feel like you are fierce. OK, they feel like you are powerful and they want you to show more of that. They feel like it's what they deserve. <laughs> they feel like um, if you've been humble, if you've been meek in some way, you guys may not be like, oh, well, I haven't been meek. But this person may feel like there's so much more um, that you that you could show them. Right. And so the Ace of Cups. You're dealing with somebody who loves you. You're dealing with somebody who's in love with you. And so the action they want you to take is to feel like, th like they're loved by you too. Um, the Ace of Cups is coming through saying that you're dealing with somebody who, um, I think they want to be your first love. They want you to tell them th that, you know, that you love them above anyone else romantically. What's the Ace of They want to be chosen by you too. That's another thing coming through. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to like this is like one of those reality shows where they're like, and the winner is the person we have selected 
for it to have our heart is, you know, group, group two's person. So I feel like this person wants to be chosen by you. The action they want you to take is to offer them love, to, to present them with an offer of love and, and what this relationship is going to be about. Loyalty is coming through. They want to know that you're loyal. The action they want you to take is they want to know that you're invested. Okay. Um, because they feel like they are Knight of Pentacles here. They feel like they're doing some work. They feel like they're trying to make this happen. They feel like they believe in this. And so they want to know that you also are in that energy. Um, maybe disproportionately, they want it more from, you know, sort of you than for them to give. But that's just one of the things that's happening in the collective. Um, when something is unfair happening in the relationships, Typically, feminine energies are not speaking up. Typically, it's the feminine energy that's not setting the boundary. So they realize that this relationship does need some changes. They feel like you are the person. You're showing up in queen energy for them, for um, what action they want you to take. For one, for, I mean, for four of pentacles. Um, yeah, they need some change. Will of fortune. I mean, this person really wants you to... Hold them to your standard, whatever that means for your connection, all right? This feels like when you met somebody or you meet them for the first time and you go, yeah, I'm not going to accept anybody, you know, stepping out on me or you start laying down the law when you first meet them because your feelings aren't invested yet. You, you know, you say what you feel somewhere along the line, you started not saying what you felt. You started holding back because you didn't want to push them away, because you didn't want to come through as too assertive, because they became more valuable to you. So the stakes were a lot higher. If I put my feelings out there, or if I put up some boundaries, I may never see or hear from them again. Um, And so something about this Ace of Cups is saying they want you to go back to the way that you were when you met them. For them, you felt stronger. And so the actions they want you to take is to show up in your true divine form as this queen energy, as this divine entity that holds them accountable with the four of pentacles, that creates st stability within the environment, within the relationship environment. They want the boundaries. That's what the four of pentacles is actually titled in one of my decks, boundaries. All right. And so we have the king of swords. They want you to... um. Some of you may back down too easy, okay? Hi, Group 3. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for becoming Patreon members. I do appreciate you, and I am so grateful for you. Um, so this was a question that I had for the collective. What action does your person want you to take towards them? So we're going to take a look at your person group three and see what action, um, they would like for you to take towards them. This is just a different perspective. You don't have to do anything that comes through here. Um, but this is an, a, another look. That's what tarot is, right? Um, so this is another look at someone else's perspective, another look at what, you know, actions this person is craving or desiring from you and so that is what i am going to get into so group three what action let me move this does the person you are connected to want you to take towards them all right so let's see what comes through what action they want you to take what action does group three's person want them to take so Whoever you are thinking of, group three, that is who I am channeling. Thank you. All right. The princess of cups. Okay. That's that page of cups energy. What action does this person want you to take? Interesting. We have the eight of pentacles. Prudence. All right. What action does your person want you to take? <laughs> three of pentacles, material wealth. Um, we have the star. What action does your person want you to take? And we have the three of wands. So at the bottom of the deck here, you guys have the high priestess. Your person wants you to produce some, some results here. All right. We'll see how this is all playing out and what that means. 
but there's a lot of work coming through from their their perspective that has to be sort of done on your end okay we have codependency all right for what action does your person want you to take effort that's that eight of pentacles um uh, something i'm picking up your person wants you to prove yourself okay again i'm gonna i'm gonna break it all down and see why that's coming through um let's see and we have commitment all right you have caution at the bottom here and then i'm gonna grab two of these and see what action your person wants you to take aries is, i mean i'm sorry um sure aries sagittarius leo but um aquarius is what i meant to say is showing up also the high priestess and pisces energy we have earth energy capricorn taurus virgo ego trip yeah they just they may want their ego fed you know which is why they were demanding like work <laughs> proving yourself right but we'll see. Speak up. Love making at the bottom. I'll get to that in a second. So I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who is used to getting their way. This person feels like they are definitely not used to sort of the spiritual bonding that they are experiencing with you. And they want something more material to prove you guys are meant to be together, right? Uh, material doesn't have to be money, okay? But it can just be some sort of show, some sort of demonstration. Because I feel like, you know, this person is looking for some sort of fulfillment, some sort of enlightenment. And you you answer that call, right? As the high priestess for the action they can want you to take. Um, I also pick up, and I'll be honest, there is some somewhat of a chauvinistic energy I'm picking up from this person without going into any of this. And so they could want you quiet. They could want you to, you know, have a, a minimal sort of voice in this relationship. And so for some of you, you'll, you know, you'll be like, yep, that's my person. Um, and for others of you, you know, there's, there is energy that they have sort of, they're mixed, they're confusing, right? So they have mixed messaging they're sending. One minute they feel like they want you to be strong and they want you to show up as powerful. Powerful. And then the next minute they may try to like, you know, sort of deflect or, or gaslight you when you do speak up. So there's energies that this person sees the, the quality, okay, the material in you, right? Um, they, they want this, but it's kind of like they almost want to tame you, right? They want to make it so that you are predominantly giving in this connection and they don't have to do much. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the princess of cuts. So most of the <laughs> groups got this. Your person wants you to say something first, okay? Surprise there. But the action your person wants you to take is to say something to them, right? They want some sort of gesture of affection from you with the princess of cups saying that there's feelings or saying somehow that you're still on them um that you miss them or something so let's see what the princess of cups breaks down to all right mm. yeah i'm not surprised the devil codependency um you're dealing with somebody who kind of likes when you don't give off that you're too independent or strong this person the action they want from you is to be totally stuck totally hooked on them you know it's kind of a distorted look of love for them the queen of cups is here so i feel like this is for them the type of person that you're dealing with and the type of relationships they've had their shows the way that people show their love is um you know calling you a million times a day feeding your ego making you feel like you're more important um making them feel like they're more important than you right that's been what they've been used to they've gotten their way they've been spoiled and so from you they want more of that the action this person wants you to take is to do something that may totally not be in alignment with who you are as a person and who you would like to be in a relationship but it feels like they definitely have this urge to take you down a bit and to make you sort of their uh their sort of um, um i'm looking for a term um it's not it's not a puppet, but it's just somebody they want to control. All right. They want you to be easily controlled. Princess of Cups, the devil, the action they want you to take. They want you to reach out first because to them, it is a sign that they won, that they are in charge. And that's how it should be. All right. We got the Ten of Pentacles. So I do pick up the energy that this person wants you to give 
yourself, right? All of you, um, all of you to them. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who the action they want you to take, maybe they asked you for money and you said no. Um, maybe that's a constant in your connection. They don't really bring to the table what you bring to the table. So they always want you to do more work, right? They always want you to pay for dinner. They always want you to pay for the date. So they want more of that, right? They feel like it's your responsibility. It's your role. This person definitely has toxic tendencies. And so the things that they want from you is excessively you giving to them while they enjoy what you are giving and they not have to give more, right? The three of cups is here. So I definitely pick up the energy. You guys are dealing with somebody who's immature, who doesn't really respect relationships. And so what they could want is for you to accept some sort of third party dynamic, some sort of openness in your relationship, an untraditional relationship or none at all, right? Um, they want you to be okay with them going out and dealing with more than one person. Again, this is about you giving all 10 of pentacles while they don't have to. Um, they don't have to invest in a relationship, but they want that loyalty from you. They don't have to give you money, but they expect you to be the one to do it for them. Um, you have Capricorn here. Um, some of you are dealing with somebody who's just immature, right? The princess of cups comes through as yeah, I want something that's totally unrealistic, but I don't care. I'm going to ask for it. They've been spoiled, okay, in relationships, and they're dealing with a different entity when it comes to you as the high priestess that they may not understand, but they also feel as if they don't have any sort of um, interest right now in making this relationship reciprocal. It feels like they want a one-sided connection where they mainly benefit. Okay. So the eight of pentacles comes through as this person wanting you to do more, wanting you to invest more of yourself, right? Um, it doesn't matter what you've done for them, how much you've shown them. They, it's not enough with this person. It's like, it'll never be enough. They want more. The action they want you to take is to possibly again, do things that are not in alignment with you. Hangman energy. Um, they do want to kind of start getting you used to, this is just who I am, right? That's how they are. They want you to get used to seeing them from a perspective of how they see things. Um, they want you to kind of get rid of the way that you see things. And I do feel like the five of cups being here at the bottom of the deck feels like your person, um, the action they want you to take is they want you, they kind of want to force you to miss them if you don't do as they say. They kind of want to force you to regret um, standing up for yourself if you do and they don't talk to you, right? Or if you do and they become cold and distant. So they want you to take a second thought before you sort of um, create boundaries, right? I want you to see how it's going to look if you think that that's how this relationship is going to go. Um, So this could be a Pisces who likes to, or a water energy. I feel Pisces very strongly who likes to emotionally guilt you. Someone who likes to, um, with the Capricorn energy, yeah, someone who likes seven of swords here, someone who likes to be in total control. And when they don't, they sort of like do all of these really messed up things, um, tower, create this really messed up environment, um, where it, it's almost like because you don't want to be alone or because you want them so bad, you're willing to do anything. Um, and I feel like that is toxic. The action this person wants from you is definitely something that feels like it completely blows up your idea of structure and foundation, right? Um, it could literally be something against your religion for some of you or the way that you live your life. And yet that is exactly what they are plotting to do strip you away from your foundation, from what keeps you balanced and what keeps you um, in a space of having those morals and values and living by them and so that you can be easily controlled by them. So I had to breathe because <laughs> this person is very narcissistic. Um, they want you to play the game their way. The hangman, the seven of swords, to play the game by their rules. I don't need to, but I am going to clarify the seven of swords just to see if there's any redeeming quality here. No. 
So the Three of Swords comes through as this person is definitely on some sort of ego trip. They want you to like, I think the word, the term is ingratiate yourself. I think that's it, but you feel free to correct me in the comments. But I do feel like this person wants you to not have any dignity. They want you to totally give them control of this relationship, do what they want to do. Um, I think they also want to keep you codependent on them, um, showing you how they can make you feel good and then stripping that away from you um, if you dare stand up to them or create boundaries. So this is um, definitely someone who I feel is... is um, you know, it's just like this person is definitely on an ego trip. This person is definitely someone I feel the message of the world being here as almost they're, they're them having some sort of subconscious acknowledgement they don't deserve you and that you should close the door on them. But it's kind of like they know you won't or they 